The beauty just finished showering and was dressing herself. Suddenly, the mirror suddenly moved. The beauty was so scared that she stood up. Then an invisible force pushed her down. The woman could only scream and fall on the bed. All this is the work of the invisible man Sebastian. He is a scientist. His daily job is to do research on his computer. Sebastian spends his free time looking through the window at his beautiful neighbor. Unfortunately, beautiful women have a good sense of security and privacy. So Sebastian's lewd peeping never really saw anything. But today things are different. Sebastian made a major breakthrough with a military drug he was working on. He immediately called his lab members and started calling people in to report the results. In a secret base, an experimentalist cautiously approached an empty cage, but suddenly several footprints appeared in the cage. The man seems to have been expecting it. He calmly puts on his thermal imaging glasses. Then he saw the appearance of a gorilla in the cage. It turns out that the lab was working on a drug that could make the creature invisible and their drug was successfully tested on this gorilla. The only problem was they have not been able to make the invisible creature back to the appearance that everyone can see. The gorilla had been invisible for too long, causing its temperament to become unstable. But then Sebastian came along. He had just managed to break through the problem. The two of them had to work hard to subdue the gorilla and tied the invisible gorilla to the operating table. The veterinarian sprayed the gorilla's body to make its veins visible. As Sebastian injected the medicine, gorilla's blood vessels began to become visible little by little. The drug spreads with the blood to gorilla's heart. The blood began to be visible everywhere it passed. Then the gorilla's muscles and bones and internal organs became visible. Their experiment to turn the invisible gorilla into a visible gorilla was a success. But before they could rejoice, Sebastian said he wanted to dissect the gorilla. This comment caused the veterinarian to take offense. Sebastian's disdain for life was frightening and disappointing. Several people almost left unhappy, but Sebastian was still eager to get things done. He told the lab staff in order to avoid the theft of scientific results, he was going to bypass the government's approval and start the next phase of the experiment. And that was human experimentation, although no one wanted to take the risk, but Sebastian was their leader. This time, the subject will be Sebastian's body. His plan was to be invisible for three days and then become visible. Is it dreaming or is this a real possibility? The drug was injected into Sebastian's body. Severe pain whipped through Sebastian's nerves, but then came the change in his body. With Sebastian's bones completely gone, Sebastian had successfully become invisible. The crowd cheered with excitement, but they wanted to make sure that Sebastian's body would stay intact. So Sebastian had to stay in the lab for observation. It was late at night. Sebastian couldn't resist his loneliness and got out of bed. Sarah, the veterinarian on duty, was asleep in her chair. So Sebastian slowly reached out to her. The woman's collar was lifted a little. Then her buttons were unbuttoned one by one. The woman was startled awake, but there was no one or anything beside her. She suspected that her leader, who had become invisible, had touched her on the monitor. Her leader, Sebastian, was already lying on the bed. The lab was working on a drug that would make him invisible. The drug has already been successfully tested on Sebastian's body. But that invisible man has become bold. He frequently sexually harassed his female colleagues in the lab. But the end of the experiment is near. Sebastian will be injected with a drug to remove his invisibility. With the injection of the drug, Sebastian's body starts to appear from the inside out. And with the came great pain, Sebastian struggled to break free from his colleagues. Sebastian's flesh was clearly on the verge of being fully visible. But then he became invisible again. This proved that the potion they were experimenting with had failed. The situation caught everyone by surprise. They had to continue making the antidote at the same time. In order not to be discovered by outsiders and to protect their female colleagues, they poured the gel on Sebastian's face. In this way, they were able to make a simple mask for him, but the discomfort brought to his body by the experiment still made. Sebastian feel very anxious. He left the lab alone, against the advice of his colleagues. On his way home, he was stared at by children. Sebastian lifted his sunglasses, causing the children to scream in fear. Sebastian returns to his familiar home and feels bored. Then he saw his beautiful neighbor next door who happened to be home. A bold idea came to his mind. He took off his holster and went to Lily's door and rang the doorbell. Lily saw that the door was empty and felt a little strange. Lily dared to go out and look around, but there was no one there. However, at this time, 
Sebastian has taken the opportunity to enter Lily's room. When Lily returned to the room, what happened after that we do not like to see, I will not show it. Sebastian's whereabouts were still discovered by his colleagues. When he returned to the lab, Linda warned Sebastian. If he left the lab without permission again, Linda will report Sebastian's crime to the supervisors. But his colleagues warned of the effect of making Sebastian's behavior more aggressive. Sebastian sneaks out of the lab and smashes the window of his colleague's house. He returns to the lab. A dog injected with an invisible drug was bothering him. So Sebastian brutally kills it, but Sebastian's trick was discovered by his colleagues. Sebastian's actions had led to serious consequences, so they decided to report Sebastian's crime to their superiors. But the conversation was overheard by Sebastian. He followed them to the house of his superiors. He waited for his colleagues to leave after ratting them out. Sebastian cut the phone line of the leader's house. The leader did not realize that he was in danger when he looked at the door of his house. The wind moved by itself without wind. The man was suddenly kicked into the pool by an unknown object. Then a transparent man jumped into the water. He pulled the man to the bottom of the pool underwater. Soon the man loses the ability to resist. And the transparent man just goes ashore and leaves. Sebastian is a scientist. He succeeded in researching a potion that could make people invisible. But after becoming invisible, Sebastian began to use his invisibility to do a lot of bad things. His labnets unanimously decided to stop him, but he went so far as to murder his supervisor. When his colleagues learned of the leader's death, they realized that something was wrong. They rushed to make a phone call, but they found that all the phone lines in the lab had been cut. They tried to escape in the elevator, but lost authorization to use it. Once they investigated, they found out that it was Sebastian who had done it. They decided to work together to cast Sebastian the Transparent. At that moment, Janet's turned around to get the thermal imaging glasses, but the transparent Sebastian suddenly rushed out with a rope. Janet's was the first to lose her breath. Several people came to Sebastian's bedroom. Sure enough, he had taken off his mask and escaped. When they returned to the lab, they found someone hiding in the cabinet through thermal imaging glasses. So they used a stun gun on the door. But when they opened the door, Janet's body fell out. They panicked, but they can't just do nothing because they're scared. They relied on a tracker to locate Sebastian's position. Then two male colleagues went to intercept Sebastian's escape route. But just as Sebastian was about to run out of options, Sebastian disappeared into thin air. But the two men soon found Sebastian hiding behind a pile of pipes with thermal imaging glasses. The men decided to shoot at the pipes. Unfortunately, the pipes were only a hot exhaust vent. Just then David was lifted into the air. His chin was marked with Sebastian's fingers. Jack rushed to shoot at the pipe. The massive steam made Sebastian's transparent body visible. Sebastian throws David to the ground next to him. David was about to lose his breath, and Sebastian took advantage of the chaos to close the door. The heat that was rising everywhere made it impossible for Jack to tell Sebastian's location with his thermal imaging glasses. Good thing he's an intelligent scientist. Jack grabbed a fire extinguisher and sprayed it around. The next thing he knew, he could see Sebastian, the transparent man, but Jack could not beat him. In the confusion, a female colleague appeared to save Jack. On the other hand, because David lost a lot of blood, Dr. Sarah came to the infirmary to get blood, but Sebastian followed her to the infirmary. Sarah wisely pours blood around the room, but she still couldn't see Sebastian. Just when Sarah was relieved, she heard a noise from behind her. Sarah rushed to turn around and splash blood behind her, but Sebastian knocked Sarah to the ground with a single kick. He then shot a sedative into Sarah's chest. Sarah just watched as he slowly lost his power. By the time the other three men found Sarah's body, Sebastian took the life of another man before anyone could see him. The last two of his colleagues were trapped in the cold room. Sebastian calmly put on his clothes. Then he started to destroy the lab with homemade explosives. At that moment, Linda thought of a solution in the chaos. She used the equipment to create a homemade electromagnet. She then opened the bolt on the outside door that was trapping her. Furious. Linda finds Sebastian. She took out a flamethrower to punish him, but the flamethrower soon runs out of gas. Sebastian loses sight of him again and becomes transparent. Linda then sprays flames at the flameproof device. The nouncel sprays a mist of water. Sebastian sneaks up on Linda through the curtain of water. He unethically knocked his female colleague to the ground. Luckily, the man arrives in time. He picks up Linda and prepares to leave, but Sebastian wouldn't let up. He grabbed a stick and tried to kill again, but this time, the man reacted in time to avoid the attack. He pushed the drenched Sebastian into the high-voltage power line. 
And so Sebastian ended his life of crime. When we have talents that others don't have, what we should do is to take responsibility for it. If in turn we allow our desires to drive our actions, then we will only bring about our own destruction.